3B Outdoors brought to you by our premier sponsor, Spot Hog, maker of the world's toughest archery products. Well, on today's show, we have a real special treat for you. We've got the boat hooked up. We're headed to South Holston Lake right outside of uh, Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee border, and we're going to catch some great big smallmouth bass on a technique that's still fairly new. We call it demeking. Well, really why we call it that is because we use a little Demeke armor shad uh, plastic bait and we fish it vertical. The electronics is the key. You see them on the bottom come up after it and then when they bite it, man, you set the hook. It's almost like playing a video game. It's so exciting and it's still really new. I'm not really good at it, but we've got Scott Bell with us, a local guy who's been doing it a long time, weighing in bags of fish, 20, 25 pounds for five smallmouth. Man, that's a day. We're going to go out there and show you how to get it done. I'm Nathan Light. Let's hit the lake. We're going to South Holston. Welcome to 3D Outdoors. We gotta gear up now. We're gonna make a run. Essential wintertime gear right here. You get this on, you can go rob a bank, go fishing. Where'd my helmet go? There's my helmet. Here we go. We're right outside of Bristol. We got our helmet on. We're going racing, baby. Come out of my NASCAR gear. Whew. It's worth it though. It'll be worth it here in a minute. I've been seeing some fish already down there. Now, now give us just a little quick insight of what we're going to do now. We're going to drop this Demeke over up here. And how deep you think they're going to be, Scott? They, they should be right in around the 30 foot range this morning. I'm thinking they're being about 30 foot deep. So it's all going to be vertical, it's right? It's all going to be vertical straight right. underneath the boat. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. There's a fish up high. That was, that was mine. No, that's a fish there. Oh, that a fish? Now you're going down right beside of him. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about now. You can see you all the way down yeah. to... Are those fish up high like that, are they catchable? There's another one. They're, they're up shallower. Let's find out. You see me up at the top. That's a small fish there. Ain't got much red in him. Watch him. See, he's taking off back down the bottom. He's going to the bottom now. I scared him. Watch, I'm gonna drop it down to him. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. He wasn't very big, but it was a fish. South Holston Smalley. Look at that. Oh, what a fish. Good. Oh, yeah. You want to grab him, Scott? Yeah, I can. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one there, bud. Look how fat that thing is. That's not what we were hoping to grab. We've got visions of fours and fives fours and, and five. sixes, but... That's a good way to that's start. That's a good one. Man, that's healthy. It's a fight. And the Demeke. <laughs> that's the first. We, we got to start somewhere. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. Let's get him back in the water. He's missing a fin. Can you see that right there? Something just took his bottom pectoral fin. Is that the pectoral fin? I guess. I don't know. Look at that. He's missing. Let's get him back in the water. Awesome bite. All right. Now, baby, I'm ready. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Thank you, Scott. First the Mickey fish right there, man. That's awesome. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Take on it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I thought that was one. Oh, is that me? Yeah, it's you. You sure? Uh, nope, nope, fish. No, he's fishing. Fish, Here fish. he comes. It went back, back down. Dang. See him go back down? See him go right back down real. Now that's crazy right there. Those are the same fish. Here, he, fish. here he comes again. Here he comes again. Now, let me try to fool him in the... He's thinking about it coming up. He's thinking about it. We're excited. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. We're going to try to bid one in here, see if we can't get one to bite. <laughs> We're looking for the highest bidder, boys. So, so. Oh my goodness! Look at that thing. You talk about a fish. Look at that one. That's a beast right there. Yeah. Look at that thing. I thought you were going to bring him over here let me land. <laughs> All right, you're the, who's driving this ship? He is. Man. Easy, boy. Easy now. Just quit shaking your head. Come here. If we had a net, you'd be done. I've done this before, I believe. He got off. Oh, Lord, ain't that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You're talking about a fish, dude. Look at that thing there. My stars above. You're talking about a toad now. Look at that monster. When he hit, it felt like a tobacco pickup going down the road to 60 mile an hour. What does that thing weigh? I've got some scales. I don't know that in there. He's a, he's a nice one now. He's over Six. five, ain't he? Yeah, he's over five. Well, hold on to him. I'll go dig some scales out here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It... Now, that's kind of what you was expecting all along, wasn't it? That right there is what pays the bills, ain't it? Five pounds, seven ounces of mean, bad attitude, smallmouth. This is not Lake Erie, folks. This is South Holston Lake right outside of Bristol, home of the NASCAR track. And Scott Bell just rang the dinner bell with them, boys. I'm telling you, give me a tater. <laughs> Let's get him back in the water. Now that right there is what a Lawrence would have to get. Can't do it without it, man. That is for sure. Let's get him back in the lake, Scott. Let him swim again, man. That's an awesome deal right there. Tell your friends. Love it, love it. That old boy, dude. The Mickey, the Mickey. You got another one in I here? hope, I hope, I hope I got many more in there. All right, let's do it. Good job, man. Good job. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Powell Clark State Farm Insurance. Get to a better state. Cornerstone Concrete Technologies. Your concrete is our canvas. Lawrence HDS Gen 2, the fastest HDS ever. Kistler Rods, field tested and used by the pros. Nelson Outfitters, outfitting in Wyoming or Montana for trophy muleys, whitetails, elk, antelope, black bear, and mountain lion. Matthews, catch us if you can. So you've worked hard. You've got that property that you've always dreamed of and you've built that home that you've always dreamed of. There's just a little touch missing. You need a fence. Something to accent the property and secure your livestock. You don't want just any fence. You want the best fence available. Call Brown's Custom Fencing, 423-235-7400 or 
249-6274. That's Brown's Custom Fencing. Traveling down the road in search of bucks, bass, and beards gives me plenty of time to reflect on the important things of life. Hello, I'm John Walls with Retirement Solutions in Knoxville. If you want peace of mind, safety of principle, growth potential, security, and lifetime guarantees, give us a call. Our reward is helping people secure their financial future and live their dreams with a passion for service second to none. Visit our website or give us a call at 865-247-OK. That's 247-6529. Hey, I'm Freddie Neely from Freebie Outdoors. For the last seven years, I've shot a spot hog sight. It's the most durable, dependable, rugged sight that I've ever come in contact with. After several states and several critters later, I'm still greedy. So if you want to get greedy, go give Josh Johnson from Spot Hog a call. Tell him Freebie Outdoor Boys sent you. Or better yet, go to spothog.com and order all their products. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at good. Oh, son. Oh. You have struck again, haven't you? I'm ready. That's on it. That. Holy cow, that's a good one, too. Look at that. Uh, man, he's a pulling. Pretty fish right there. I seen him come up and just grab a hold of it and Look at that. There you go, man. I'm telling Thank you. He has Whoa. struck again on the Damiki, I'm telling you. Awesome deal right there, man. Yes. Couldn't have drew it up no better, could Couldn't he? have. Couldn't have. I mean, it was just come right up on the screen and showed it hitting it. And what a bite. What a bite. He didn't want to let it go, did he? He still ain't wanting to let it go. Huh. Give me a tater. <laughs> Oh, way to go. Let's get him back in the water. I love that Demiki. Yes. That was a Demiki right there. That was under the boat Demiki right, right there. Yeah. yeah. This is a good one, I think. Uh. I had to switch up a little bit. I got a stick on my line. I hope it don't break it out. All right, come on. Just a good old meaning. Let me lip him for you. Like a light line. Four. Four pound line. I tricked him. Tricked him out. That's pretty fish. Yeah. I don't care where you're at, those small man. Look at the color in bronze, red eyes. He's mean and what a day. They count. They all count. Let's get him back in the water. Get him in. Let's let him go back and swim again. That's a good job. All right. I kind of like it. I can't make them all be seven pound like Scott's, but you know what I'm saying. They, I'm, I'm, I'm the numbers guy. He's the hog man. All it was, I just rang the dinner bell. You just rang the dinner bell. Let's get another. What a day. Now, now see what happens when you come up here with a professional guide and everything, you know, he catches a five and a half, five, pound, seven ounce, small mouth. He just sits down and eats. I mean, you know, takes a break. I'm up here still digging. <laughs> I, I had to ring my own dinner bell there. <laughs> so the fish quit, so you, they quit eating, so you're going to. I guess just go ahead and enjoy it. So Wait on them in there. Can you lift the big one if I catch him while you're got the big one? Oh yeah, not right. with food in them. Down, I'll grab him. All right, you go ahead and rest up. I know after you get your food, you belly will be all over. All over with. I have a small mouth while certain fellas back there eating. You know, look at it. 
All right, now get, get a picture like of this. Put, put your sandwich put down. Put your down. sandwich down. Help me. I mean, he's real big. Oh, Lord, it? yeah. Don't, I mean, don't, don't. Yeah, a little, little don't, out there make my sandwich taste better. Don't let him break your line. Oh, man, looky there. Right, here, go back there and go finish eating. I appreciate the help. But, I appreciate that. All right. Go back there and finish your sandwich off. I'll just catch all the fish. <laughs> oh, well, he can't beat it. Harassy buddy, catch a smallmouth. It's all good, man. It beats working every day. We love it. Ah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about now. <laughs> He's got a little head shake to him. I hadn't seen him yet. Uh, he's pretty good, and he's not no monster, but look, here he comes. Watch him want to play under the boat. I horsed him back with that four-pound line. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Did he get off? We got the good out of him anyway. <laughs> We got the good out of him. He's about six pounds, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's God, all right. sorry about that. That's all right, man. They got to see it all. We was going to turn him loose anyway. Lord. That's all you can see him. We went straight back to the bottom. There he went, right here. Come up here, buddy. Bring the camera up here. Well, just keep that thing rolling. Bring it up here and let's show him this. You see, that's what you were saying. Get that pole. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Right there's that fish. We just quick released him and he went right back to the bottom right there and you watched him go down. That's pretty awesome. You go home, people ask you, say, well, I run by you on the lake today. Well, I didn't even see you. We wasn't looking up. <laughs> Sitting there looking straight down at that HDS unit all day long. And boys, that right there is a picture. You see, there shows well, both of them just followed both of them. I chased him down. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There he is. <laughs> he got that boy. You called that, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> oh, I seen him come all the way up. Good enough. That's another good one. Oh, that good. Yeah, come up. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're looking for right there? <laughs> well, I'm a horse. Come <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. You can't hardly see it at all. Can you zoom in there and see that to meet you down there? I mean, it is swallowed. <laughs> that was just so <laughs> awesome. I said, here it comes, here it comes. Bam, I just. Oh, that was just so awesome. Ah, man. i get my finger down to it and knock it loose. <laughs> It didn't want, you don't want to turn loose. That's a good one. That is a good one. Show him what he looked like. What a deal. Man, oh man. One. Man, that's a good one. Man, what a fight that was. Now that there was just awesome to watch him come up and eat me. There he goes. God. Now that right there's sweet. 3B Outdoors, sponsored in part by Canaan, ultimate UV protection and unmatched clarity. Tenzing, outdoor gear. Legends live over the next ridge. Luminoc, lighted arrow knot. Rage, slip cam broadhead. Watson Airlock. Phil Logic, Glendale full rut. Plano, tackle system. Mycroft Media and Express Signs, national large format printing projects and fast local needs. Big Dog Muzzleloader by Performance Gunworks. We've hunted all year and haven't seen anything. Maybe we just need to relocate. Hey, I just contacted Mark Slagle and his agents down at Twin Lakes Realty and Auction Iron Dandridge. Man, they was honest, shot me straight, and their customer service was wonderful. That's just a short drive to Pigeon Fords. If you'd like to relocate to the Dandridge area, contact Twin Lakes Realty and Auction at markwslagle.com. Or you could just give him a call at 865-397-3540. We're asking people, why do you like Waffle House? 
You know what I really like best about a Waffle House? I can stop by here any time, day or night, that I've been fishing and get good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter what time I leave in the morning or what time I get done in the evening, I can come to a Waffle House. You know what I really like about it? When I end up in the doghouse, I can always come to Waffle House and get something to eat. <laughs>
getting late today, and fish might have moved back up there. Sun going back in. Let's go back up there where we started. See if we can catch a big. Let's go for a six to seven pounder. Six to seven pounder. I'll six say. or seven pounder. All right, let's do. It. Put, a little, put a few clothes on. <laughs> That's what you get, boy. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I called that one in for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made yeah. you, I made you jerk. Yeah, you jerk. yeah, yeah. He hit. One bass bank. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? I didn't say how, how big you had to be, okay? But did I call it? You called it. And you saw where jerking me around, trying to make you me think it. you had one. Now, you called it. See, here's TV, right on here's TV 101. Big, big bass. <laughs> big, big bass. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I don't care where you're at. Exactly. All right. I've Let's see if you can do a I've, two bass I, bank now. No, I, it's just. You can do it. It's just a one bass bank. Look here, going to the bottom. Yep. He went all the way to the bottom. Come up here. Can can you bring it up here? Let's. Did he? All right. Now what you're seeing here, we turned that fish loose, and he's running right. You seen going right back to the bottom right there. Now that's amazing stuff right there, and that's a little fish. You can imagine what those good fish are showing up out here. What a fantastic show! I want to thank Scott Bell not only for just taking us fishing, but man, he showed us the details of fishing that Domeki all the way out as deep as you really want to fish it. And how it works on those big fish is really amazing. He's got the proof in the pudding. He can weigh in fish anywhere from 20 to 25 pounds occasionally on a good day. And that's a super sack of fish. I don't care where you are in the world, especially smallmouth. Man, I hope you've had fun tagging along with us and you've enjoyed the show and you learned a little bit that'll make you a better fisherman. Tune in next week as Fred and those guys take you somewhere in the woods chasing turkeys or shooting deer or maybe both. But I'm Nathan Light, and at 3B Outdoors, we always bring you quality hunting and fishing. You ever come back up in here again? You got it. I don't want that lava rock bank. <laughs> <laughs> right there is what a Lawrence will have to catch. You can't do it without it, man. That is for sure. Let's get him back in the lake, Scott. Let him swim again, man. That's an awesome deal right there.